What's going on guys, Zebs here bringing you a tutorial on a cool little effect that I've recently figured out how to make, um, which um, some of you motion designers out there, you probably already know what this is. Um, this is called the Plexus effect. Um, it's a really cool effect that is kind of growing in popularity. A lot more people are starting to do it. So I thought I would teach you guys how to make it in Cinema 4D. Now, there is a plugin for this in After Effects, um, but I don't think there is any at the moment for Cinema 4D. So I'm going to show you how to manually make something like this. So all you 3D designers and creative people out there, you can make some cool stuff with this. Um, so to start off with, we are going to go into Cinema 4D. And this is the project that I just rendered out and showed you. Um, so to start off with, the light kit that I'm using is the Gray, Gray Skill Gorilla one. It's a studio. So I can't give it to you guys. Um, but if you do want to get it, you can buy their uh, light studio pack if you want, things like that. So the first thing of what we're going to do is we are going to go into display and we're going to go into quick shading lines. Now what this does is it basically shows you the segments. So I'm going to start off by deleting what I just made and then get another platonic. And um, if you don't know how to get platonics, basically all you have to do is you go into this blue little square here and get a platonic, boom, you're good. So basically what I just did with the display quick shading is if I set the segments to two, it's going to show more segments. It's going to show the segments that I just added. And if I have it on just this one, it just shows what it is and shading whatnot. So you want to have it on this and then you want to set the segments to two. So what we want to do then is, well, here, let me back up a second. So basically... Some of you guys might be thinking, well, hey, just get an atom array and then call it good, you know, which, hey, makes sense, you know, it's quicker. But the problem with atom array is, is you can't really manipulate it that well. Um, it's kind of hard to mess with things like that to make the plexus effect. Um, so I'm going to basically be show you how to make the uh, atom array, but manually. So you can edit it more, do more things with it, make the plexus in different ways, things like that. Um, so let me just remove this. So the first thing of what we want to do is we want to go into MoGraph and then get a cloner. Um, once we've done this, we're going to get a sphere, um, which is in this blue little thing here. Get a sphere. So once we've done that, tongue twister, um, we are going to edit the sphere here. We're going to set the segments to about 20 and set the radius to about 10. Well, maybe 14 or something like that. And once we've done this, we're going to drag the sphere into the cloner. And this will then create a three, um, a linear, like three, it'll create three spheres. Um, so if you've ever used a cloner before, it kind of, it's, it's a cool tool. I'll, I'll show you what I'm about to do. Um, so just follow along with me right now. So we're going to set, go into the object. We're going to set the mode to object. And then we're going to drag the platonic that we just made into the object. And to do is just left click, hold left click, drag it into the object, boom. Um, so what it did is it took all these spheres and it took it to all the edges of this um, this platonic. Um, so once we've done this, um, it's we want to keep the distri distribution on vertex. We're going to be changing this on the second thing we're about to do. Basically... Um, we got the spheres on this, so the next step is basically we're going to do the same exact thing, but this time with a capsule. Um, we're going to do a couple different things, though. Um, so to start off with, we're going to get another um, cloner in MoGraph, and then we're just going to drag the capsule into the cloner, boom, set it to object, set the platonic in the object, and then as you can see here, it's all weird and not good because the distribution is set to vertex. So what we want to do is we want to change it to edge. And once we've done this, we want to go to scale on edge. Um, this will make it where it's on the edges and it's scaling to the right thing. So then once we've done this, we want to keep the offset at 50. And we're going to go into our capsule. And this time, then now we're going to lower the radius because as we're a little bit too thick, so we're just going to lower the radius to about, oh, here, I'm going to turn this off really quick so I can see. I would say, whoops, hmm, six or seven is fine. That'll work. Um, so once we've done this, we're now going to ed edit the edge scale so that it fits the whole um, thingy. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe five. Um, so once we've done this, as you can see, I basically just made the atom array, but manually. 
but this time with cloners. Now cloners you can manipulate pretty well and make really cool things with. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're now going to start working on the um, the actual uh, the twit or the the things, the plexus and all like the how it's randomized instead of of a platonic. So to do this, we are going to go into our uh, oh, what's this called? Basically, where this like curved blue thing is. I can't remember what this these tools are called. But once we're in here, we're going to go into displacer. Um, and then we're just going to drag this displacer uh, into the platonic so it becomes the child. And in displacer, we're going to go into shading. Um, click this little arrow here. Go into noise. And then here you can change different displacements if you want. Just click the noise and then select the noise and then pick from different ones you want. I'm going to keep it like this though. Um, but basically that's how you can get different displacement uh, kind of patterns, you could say, uh, just by editing the noise. Um, but I'm just going to keep it as this. So once we've done this, we're now going to go into object and we're going to change the height to whichever you like. And this will start to create a um, kind of randomized looking atom array, or not atom array, plexus effect. Um, so this is how you can do it. And then you can change the noise to make different kind of patterns. Uh, also keep in mind that I think size matters as well. Size will change how everything looks and whatnot. So if I make this bigger, as you can see, it's a different displacement. Um, so keep all these factors in when you're doing what you're doing. And then you can just add your materials, which I just, I'll just use the ones I showed you guys. So I'll just add this one, add these two to the cloner, and then you can set them to cubic, seamless, boom. Then you got your thing. We got your light kit and then you can render it out. And this is basically how I made this right here. Um, and then you can go into Photoshop and do whatever you like with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's a different tutorial, I feel like. Um, also, for future tutorials, I plan on doing projects and teaching guys how to do it instead of doing an effect, you know? So like, I basically, I make something and then I show you guys how I make this thing and so on and so forth. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've been your host, Zebs, today, and I am out. Peace.